Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf, Andy Carter here, and thanks very much for checking out today's video. I'm going to be talking you through one of my favourite drills from the legend that is Mr. Pete Cowan, because this is going to help you understand how you're going to be using your hands, particularly in the takeaway, but also how you can translate this into other parts of your game, whether it's whether you're hitting a driver or you're hitting a wedge. So to get straight into this, I see so many golfers working the club face in the wrong way, where the, maybe one hand is more dominant and we, we try and oh, we end up opening the face or we end up closing the face or the wrists are working on the wrong angle, which then at the top of the backswing will affect where the club face is positioned relative to the target. And there's a really simple drill that I use this a lot for coaching, which definitely helps every golfer understand how the wrists are going to be working and it's something that you could be doing right now at home or wherever you are all you need is a towel or something very very similar and all we're going to be doing is going to grip it in the same way you would grip your normal golf club so we need to make sure that the grip is in the correct position first so going in straight into this drill what I like to try and get people to do is feel as if they're wringing out the water of a towel. So imagine this was absolutely soaking wet. What's the fastest way to dry it? You would turn it one way and turn it against and that will create that will encourage the water to come off the towel. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the hand. So once we take the grip here on my lead hand, I'm going to put my, my trail hand on as well. And what we're going to do, I'm going to basically feel like I'm wringing out the water. If this was a soaking wet towel, I'm going to be wringing out the water of the towel and what that's doing is making my hands work an equal amount because they're working equally against each other and Pete Cowan calls that equal opposites which is obviously very factually correct if you're doing something the equal amount but in the opposite way around equal opposites and what that's helping to do with the golf club is stabilize the club face during the takeaway so a really really good drill is just to learn and feel that you're wringing out the towel. Get this towel, even grab a wet towel and wring out the water as you're, create, as you're making your grip. Now, for golfers that may have a, a what I would say is an incorrect grip or a, a very bad grip, this is going to be different because if you've got your hand, let's say trail hand, the, one, the most common one I see is the trail hand too far under the club so it's super strong, this trail hand is going to be able to turn more to the left in, this, in my case, which means it's not going to be an equal amount compared to my lead hand. So we've got to get the hands in the same position. A neutral grip would look like two knuckles on left hand, around about two and two knuckles on the right hand. If I ring, if I imagine now my grip is soaking wet and I wring out my grip, there we go. What's happening now, if I just push that towards you, you'll notice the face angle. You see that leading edge is not moving at all in the slightest, okay? If my left hand is more dominant than my right, it's gonna open as a right-handed golfer. And if my right hand is more dominant than my left, it's going to close. If they're equal, working opposite each other, the face will not move. And how that translates into this takeaway is as I start to pull my shoulders away from the target and turn my chest away from the target, I've got my hands working equal opposite. And you'll notice the face has started to stabilize and not open or close. But what it's also allowing me to do, when I work them equally opposite each other, it allows me to hinge. I'm, I'm able to use the correct part of my wrist to hinge the club upwards, okay? So again, if, I, if I'm more dominant on one side of my hands and I use my right hand, let's say, then I'm gonna use the back, I'll end up using the back of my wrist and the club will come too flat behind me. If I do the same with my, my left hand and my left hand's more dominant, then my wrist angle could go the other way as well. My left, my left wrist could bow too much and it could go too far behind me. If I work them equally opposite each other, face is stabilized and it can only work in one direction, which is now up, okay? So now the shaft angle, relative to target line is perfect. The face angle st stabilizes all the way through the golf swing and I've got full control of the club face during the swing. So now I can use my bigger muscles, I can use my shoulders and my hips to make sure that I've got that stabilization as I rotate and I've got control of the face all the way through the swing. And now I've got the wrist working up on the correct angle I've got the face being stabilized, so therefore I've got more chance of 
coming back to the golf ball on a square in a square face position and I've got more chance of hitting the golf ball straight. So remember, all you're gonna need for this drill is a towel. I want you to hold it. I want you to squeeze the towel, okay? Equal opposites. Get you using the correct part of your wrist as your equal opposite, wringing the towel out, allowing the, the towel to work upwards towards your chest. Therefore, you've got the, the, the hinge of the swing working perfectly into that takeaway position and therefore the top of the backswing position the club face is going to be a lot more neutral it's going to stay neutral it's going to stay a lot more stabilized and it's going to make you better at golf for sure guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this tip all you need is a towel it's going to help you with your grip your takeaway and your club face stabilization during the golf swing if you've enjoyed this tip, please do hit the like button as ever. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, if you've never seen this channel before, it does make a huge difference if you could just hit, click on that subscribe button as well. Content tips coming every Monday and Wednesday, so do stay tuned. Or if you're, sorry, Monday and Friday, so do stay tuned. And if you're here for vlogs, then make sure you come back on a Sunday and a Wednesday for some on-course management, matches, challenges, all of the above. This channel has got everything. Also, if you're interested in a golf lesson with myself, do click on the Skillist app on your phone, search my name, Andy Carter, and I will be more than happy to give you a golf lesson. Guys, thank you for watching. Take care, see you soon.